Um, hello, everyone. Uh, this um, short session. Um, which window is this? Yes, this is the window. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Hunor Chumatani. I'm a software engineer at Red Hat, working with the packet team. Um, you can find me all over the internet uh, with the Nick Chumha and pretty much the same profile picture everywhere, hopefully. Um, today's session is going to be about using source Git to maintain packages, whereas then in Fedora. Um, the agenda is kind of a short. Uh, first, I would like to do a quick walkthrough about what this Git is. Um, so maybe I should ask if there is someone in the audience who is not familiar with the Diskit concept. You can write in the chat then. Um, and then I would like to walk around a little bit of, <laughs> yes, uh, yes. I don't know what that yes means. Um, I would like to walk around the concept of source Git and, um, then check a little bit uh, out the tooling my uh, me and my team um, uh, is developing, which is called Packet. Okay, so Frank is not familiar with this Git. Um, so let's see what is this Git. Um, actually, for this presentation, I, I did a little bit of um, um, research or I don't know, looking in the past. And uh, on Fedora Wiki, I happened to find the original this Git proposal, which was a change proposal to, to introduce this Git. This seemingly was somewhere in end of 2009, December, maybe. Um, and it turns out that back then, uh, all Fedora packaging was happening within CVS, which was some shared directories and people were really not happy with it. So this is how this Git started. Basically, this Git for Fedora is src.fedoraproject.org. Um, and currently it's running uh, a pegger uh, as, as the forge. And this is the place where all the packages, all the sources for all the packages are stored. Now, the reason we don't just call git, but there is this dist in the beginning, which um, if I'm not wrong, it stands for distribution. Um, it's because it has this um, somewhat, somewhat uh, weird layout. Um, as you can see here in Firefox, for, for example, you are going to have um, all the patches um, uh, which are distribution patches, like uh, specific to Fedora. And then if you are going to scroll down at some point, um, where is it? Yeah, you are going to file the spec file in here, plus all kinds of other files which are required to build this package. Um, and then there is this weird little file, which is called sources. Um, which is having this format of specifying um, how to check um, the validity of this archive. And all these archives are stored in a place we call lookaside cache. And all these hashes will verify that the file retrieved from the lookaside cache is really the one which was saved there. And then really what happens during the build process is um, the archive is downloaded, or these archives are downloaded from, from the lookaside cache, unpacked, then all these patches, which are here and specified in the spec file, are applied on top of that tree, and then the build process can continue. Um, now, collaboration in this format is a little bit um, strange. Uh, Maybe I'm wrong, but as far as I know, uh, in previous versions when this Git wasn't running uh, a pegger forge on top of it, 
Um, some maintainers were even like directly pushing to branches, which is still possible. Uh, since Pegger, uh, more and more people started using um, uh, PRs for any changes, but because basically you store downstream patches as separate files in Git, uh, reviewing such a change is well, a little bit interesting because as you can see, for example, in this example, uh, in a PR, you are going to review patches of patches, um, which is kind of an indirection um, cognitive load, I would say, and it's more difficult to check because basically you don't have the whole context of um, what in which these patches are happening. So this is where source git comes in. And um, I would like to um, say at the beginning that this isn't really a new thing that we just invent. Um, while I was doing uh, archaeology in, uh, in the Fedora Wiki, I also found that, uh, <laughs> hello, Michael, uh, you just missed um, what this Git is about. So yeah, if you know that, then it's fine. Yeah, so I was, I found this, Supposedly, there was a source control management special interest group, and um, <laughs> no problem. And um, they had an agenda, and this is also back somewhere in 2009, that can they have exploded three packages to work on? And this is what we did source git is. Um, source git is just you don't change the format of uh, how you get sources from upstream. You don't create an archive and done, then upload to the Lucas site cache. You just fork the upstream repo, like use Git for what Linux invented. And you apply downstream or distributions changes as separate uh, changes as commits on top of it. So it's like really, just use Git as it was intended. You have the upstream history and then just apply downstream patches as a separate branch. Um, and what our team thinks and what proves to be the case, um, we really think that a source Git layout can, can be a place for, for, to do creative and interesting work and not needing to do all these in to handle all these and in directions of what the this git format uh, requires. Um, how would this work? Another diagram. Um, one of the things or the way we work with source git is basically take upstream releases, which might be tags or branches or whatever. Um, pull them into your source git repository. Um, you can uh, create for each release a branch just for auditability so that you can go back anytime and see like, okay, what was the release? And then starting from this branch, uh, apply your, uh, apply the uh, distribution patches or changes and then synchronize this branch and create the master branch or like, which is going to be row height for, I don't know, for the Fedora, like for each release you can do and create the corresponding branches. Um, how would this live? Like we know that this part is uh, SRC Fedora project running Pegger. Uh, this can be any kind of Git, or Git forge, any kind of Git repository. Um, and this, the source Git part, this is what you can really store pretty much anywhere. Uh, GitHub, GitLab, Pegger, BitKeeper, sorry for not putting in the slide, uh, really anything you want like to. Um, and now some people might say, uh, 
who are doing packages that wait, I'm already doing something like this. Yes, I said this is not a new invention. Uh, actually, what we found, uh, one of my teammates started a thread not long ago on, on Fedora Devil regarding this subject. And f what we learned from that thread is that many teams and many people are using something similar, uh, either locally or they even have their forks of upstream repositories somewhere in GitHub where, where they create their branches and use those branches to, man to manage all the, the downstream patches they are working with. Um, and what that really means for them is that they are able to open PRs, which are more meaningful because you are actually looking at the code which you are patching and not looking at the patch which is going to patch your code. Um, so I think that's, that, that's a really nice thing to have. Um, so yeah, this is not a, a new invention. Um, what is somewhat new, and now let's have a look at tooling. The basic tooling, it will be Git. Um, when you are working with this Git, yes, you are also using Git, but then you are going to use some other tools. Um, <laughs> you need to use patch, right? Sometimes uh, Jandiv, things like that. Um, one of the tools uh, my team was working on uh, is Packet. This is packaged for Fedora. This should be really a command line tool, which basically currently will help maintainers doing these, these things uh, between their source Git repositories down to their uh, um, this Git repositories. Uh, plus, uh, Packet also enables you to trigger some builds, either in Koji or to test your packages. You could use uh, a copper for that. And But what is more important or interesting maybe is that we are working on a GitHub application. Uh, basically, this is offering Packet as a service. And what this application will offer you uh, once you enable in your uh, source Git repositories, which you are storing in, in, in GitHub, is that it will um, allow you to, um, it will give you some checks on your PRs in, in source Git. It will build your changes uh, in copper and provide feedback uh, as flags on these PRs. Um, plus, there is a possibility to test these builds using testing form. Um, and um, it also supports uh, proposing new releases to this Git. It will basically open you uh, this, Git, this Git PR in src.fedoraproject.org um, with all the changes uh, you did in your source Git repository, and then you can review that and, and merge it. Uh, this is currently a GitHub app, uh, but we are working uh, on, on like Pegger support is already done and GitLab support is in progress. Um, thanks to one of the guys from Google Summer of Code who is helping us with this. Um, and this is really a cool, for the brave of you out there who would like to try this way of um, packaging out. Um, so you could reach us on, on either check out our documentation on packet.dev or find us on, on, on GitHub or IRC. Cool. Uh, thank you for listening in uh, in the name of the entire team. And uh, let's see if there are any questions. Frank is asking, isn't just like rebasing downstream patches on top of upstream tree? Um, yes, many people do like that. 
other people, other projects we've seen doing this Git will choose cherry picking or any other Git operation. Um, so yeah, um, it's like rebasing downstream patches. I, I think the main difference is that this is permanent. You can share with others who you are packaging with. Uh, I hope I get the context right. And uh, it's, it's not something like you do just locally on your machine. It actually lives out there and others can contribute. 